Match is underway and it's clear who have whatever light breeze there is supporting them for the opening 35 minutes. And straight away here they are defending with Jerry O'Grady trying to get the ball away out into the centre. Colin Lynch sweeping it way down. Donal O'Cusack coming from his goal. Secure. Doing a quick turn around, linking up with the two-thirds of the full back line. That's Brian Murphy. Hot to handle. And there was an early pull there, a jersey pull indeed by David Hoey on his man, his man being Timmy McCarthy. So Dickie Murphy, who uh, has, of course, refereed four All-Ireland Senior Finals, wasn't involved for the last two years because he was a selector with the Wexford Senior Hurlers. Good to see him back, that familiar smile. This is John Gardner. 70 metres out, gone to the right. First opportunity, gone a begging. John playing in his 17th championship match. David Fitz thinking about a quick puck out. The puck outs are going to be very interesting this afternoon. Keep a really good eye on them. We know all about Cork's uh, penchant for taking short or deliberate puck outs and then building in measured fashion. Well, Claire have been studying this very carefully all through the summer. Let's see what they can do. Straight down the middle towards their centre forward, Tony Carmody. But it's won there instead by Jerry O'Connor, who went deep. O'Connor challenging Colin Lynch, beaten. Lynch has it. 70 metres out. Going for the opening score. Again, it's tailing to the right. A wide apiece. Down towards Brian Corker, beaten for it there. Who runs away from him? Jerry Quinn. One of the best defensive covering players that Clare have got this year. They were trying to make some headway over there. And that is Brian O'Connell who's down there. Not the best for wear. John Gardner was spoken to by the referee. Yeah, you know, watch it here again. Look at it. it is body charge straight into the, the midriff, really, and uh, there's no doubt about it. It is a free in for clear. So Niall Gilligan coming out to take this free, looking for the opening point of the match. Gilligan playing in his 39th championship game, 29 points so far in five games this summer for a Clare team who must be confident on the back of two good wins over Waterford and Wexford. It's a dangerous ball in. Ball's back down here, Dermot McMahon, 20 metres out, half blocked. Still around there, dangerous. And Tony Carmody hits it and puts it over the bar. The opening point comes after nearly four minutes of play. A lot of dominance from Clare. They've won a lot of good early ball, and finally they managed to get something out of the possession. Tony Carmody here at the end of this movement, left alone, just uh, given enough latitude, good score. The puck out is a long one. Brian Lowen there contesting with Brian Corcoran. Niall McCarthy dodging this way and that. Taking over is Jerry O'Connor, 45 metres out from goal. That's over the bar. Good score by Jerry. Cork will be hoping to dominate the midfield exchanges with their duo in there for the last couple of years, Tom Kenny and Jerry O'Connor, known in Cork as the Tom and Jerry Show. Yeah, it was a great score, but very interesting there. The long ball, that was a, uh, the ball was going out to Brian Cochran, I mean, to come out maybe out to the 40 for the puck outs and the breaking ball, and was won by Niall McCarthy and set up onto Jerry, Jerry O'Connor for a good score. Davy Fitzgerald varying the puck out this time, out towards Markham, runs beyond him, all the way in towards Niall Gilligan, looking for a really big match this afternoon, taking on Pat Mulcahy. Back there as well to try and help out is uh, Ben O'Connor. Runs loose to Tony Griffin, the much-travelled Tony having a shot and putting it over the bar. Great point by Tony Griffin. Man who has spent so much of the winter studying in Canada. And he's put Clare back in front here again. Tom Kenny getting back onto it again. The little hand pass inside to Timmy McCarthy. Beating the attempted block there. A Sean McMahon, the huge one. It's a good one. It's over the bar. Timmy McCarthy from Castle Lions tying it up at two points apiece. This was a very good score. Yeah. Made for him there by Tom Kenny onto Timmy McCarthy. And he had the confidence and the courage to go for it. Into the centre. Ronan Curran again makes a very good catch here. Started well against Waterford and then got into difficulty. Curran available once again. 
taking it up onto the stick, beating Tony Carmody to it. Jerry O'Connor is available to help out. Here comes Charlotte O'Halpine. He's 45 metres out. O'Halpine has scored the last day. Looking for another one. And O'Halpine has got two points in two games. Not half bad for a number seven. Here's Tony Griffin, outside to Alan Markham, Cork leading for the first time, that's blocked well by Donegal, Donald O'Kiozak, outside to Ron Sullivan. Yeah, and you look at Markham here, I mean, Adura, I think he should put the ball over the bar, being honest with you, when he got that chance. Here comes Andrew Quinn on his left-hand side, going for a score, again he's missed it. And the Clare shooting is not good. Only 15 minutes gone, and they have five wides. Yeah, they're getting plenty of possession. I'm sure Anthony Dale will be furious down there. Inside there towards Tony Griffin. Breaks down here well. Gilligan once again pressurised by Jerry O'Connor. Seemed to go off O'Connor. It did. It's the first 65 of the afternoon. Now, where's that going to end? It's over the bar. It's a big lift for Clare. Here's Kenny. Through the middle once again, Tom Kenny. It opens up for him, and it's saved brilliantly by Davy Fitzgerald. A wonderful piece of goalkeeping. It should have been buried. There was a support player there, Joe Dean, but Tom Kenny went through. The connection wasn't the greatest, but credit the goalkeeper. Good save. Down towards Brian Corker, ready to try and take on his man. Is the other Brian, Brian Lowen. And Lion, Brian Lowen gets in his stick, makes the clearance, it's effective, and it keeps Brian Corker in at bay. Sideline cut here by Ben O'Connor. Uh, that's over. He's a wonderful exponent of that art, and it's a second point for Ben O'Connor. There's Dermot McMahon. His striking of the ball has got much, much better this summer. Link play is good. Markham, over. It's Andrew Quinn indeed. Timmy McCarthy's jersey was pulled initially, but it goes back there as far as Tony Carmody. From a huge distance out, it's over the bar. Great point by Carmody. Well, Cork still trying to come forward with Kieran Murphy here, trying to lower the gap. He's succeeded. His first point of the match. It's now getting no has it hooked brilliantly there. Wonderful hook. Still persistence by uh, Gilligan. Kieran Murphy got the hook in. This is Griffin, dangerous situation for Clare. Shortens the grip from the stick and puts it over the bar. It's the opening point of the second half. It's taken five and a half minutes to produce. The old warrior, a little hand pass inside to O'Connell. They have a good duo in midfield, working for Clare. It's a huge one from distance, and it's over the bar. And it's Brian O'Connell who gets his first point out there towards Tony Griffin trying to steal a march on John Gardner stepping in Niall McCarthy whipping on it and in the end it's gone out over the sideline it's a line ball to Clare 12-7 good connection nice ball into Tony Carmody getting away from Ronan Curran hitting it high and hitting it accurately yeah they're inspired they're absolutely inspired Cork haven't scored for 15 minutes of this game. Do you remember when Cork were All-Ireland champions in 1999 and what happened the following year in the semi-final against Offaly? That's right. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you win an All-Ireland, it's even harder afterwards to actually retain it. And This game isn't over yet. I mean, there's still plenty of time to get back into it, but at the moment, you would say it's looking good for clear. Ben O'Connor, two points from Freeze, but one from a sideline. And 
that is over the bar and it's Cork's first point of the second half and it's taken nearly 14 minutes of this half alone. Out towards Andrew Quinn to Colin Lynch. Well, that would have been a magnificent point. He loves hitting those huge ones from out the field. Brian Corcoran has been taken off the Cork team. Ronan Curran is also leaving the fray. Neil Ronan has come into the forwards, Wayne Sherlock into the backs. Well, that's Brian Corcoran. So many times a star this afternoon didn't quite work out for him. And Ronan Curran taken off for the second match in succession. It's a statement of fact by the Cork selectors. It's a brave, big move. It's a big move. I, I mean, OK, but Ronan was under pressure at centre-back, but I, I, it's a big move to taking Brian Cochran off as well because there was a lot worse than Brian out there as well in the forward line. Joe Dean hasn't scored so far. They need a lift, they might get it, and Dino has done it! Joe Dean from Killa, making it 13 points to nine. towards Ben O'Connor instinctively hitting it knew where the target was and it lands inside the upright it's over the bar John Gardner comes great catch 65 metres out from the Clare goal nonchalantly striking it sweeping it beautifully over the bar and there's just two points between the teams John Gardner's second score Well, you know, the way the second half has gone so far, Clare got four in a row, now Cork have got four in a row yeah, themselves. That's, I mean, we're talking about leaders, and, I mean, that move put Garner back at the centre back is paying off, and, I mean, that was a great catch by him, a great runner of defence, and a great strike off his left hand, and, I mean, if that doesn't lift the Cork team, I don't know what will. Virgil Lynch is being prepared by Clare in the restructuring of the Cork team, by the way, Pat Mulcahy is right half. This is into Joe Dean, ready to take on his man O'Grady under pressure. Joe Dean strikes an acute angle, it's over. Joe Dean's second point in about three minutes. 13-12, a fascinating contest. Next score is crucial. Runs all the way through to Andrew Quinn, is this the next score? It is! Quinn's second point. Clear lead by two. Frank Lowen misses, taken down here. Kieran Murphy trying to get the ball through here. Outside it goes towards Neil Ronan. On the angle where he scored in the last match. An impossible situation then. This time it's over the bar. And one between them again. Neil Ronan once more coming to Cork's rescue. There's Tony Griffin. Good ball inside. Once again, it is Tony Carmody over his left shoulder and it's beautifully over the bar. Tony Carmody swings over a fourth point. Neil Ronan came out for that one. He's left it behind to Jerry O'Connor, has taken off the green helmet to his brother Ben, and that's over the bar, and it should have been in the back of the Clare net. It was as good a goal chance as they're likely to get. But it's 15 points to 14. Yeah, One between have, them. when you see the ball coming through, you would say, was Jerry going to throw over the bar? Hands it across the bin, and you would say, God, this is in the back of the net. Davy Fitzgerald ready to launch this one. Giving it everything he has. Pressure on Sean O'Gohalpine, the court captain. Keeping it along the ground here. Once again, it is it's Jerry O'Connor this time. One of the twins. Quick look up to see where's the support coming from. It's Niall McCarthy trying to cut inside, looking for the equaliser. He's got it! Level for the fourth time, and Niall McCarthy answers his critics with his first point of the semi final match. And it's 15 points for Clare, 15 points for Cork. Niall McCarthy ties it up at Grove Park.
heading into the last minute of the 70. Cork come forward and Cork lead, and it is Jerry O'Connor. 20 seconds to go. It's Jerry O'Grady who's taking it out there towards Colin Lynch. He's missed a lot. Can he get away from Jerry O'Connor? It's Colin Lynch leading the charge of the banner. They're behind by a point. Great defensive work by Cork. Griffin outside to Lynch. There might be one last chance for Colin Lynch here. It's awkward. It's going right and it's gone wide. Towards Brian Lowen and Joe Dean. It's gone forward here to Kieran Murphy. There's a chance to tie it up completely. And a great save by David Fitzgerald from Neil Ronan. They're still playing away there, playing their hearts out. Niall McCarty trying to get the ball up. It doesn't matter anymore because Cork have won. Cork have beaten Clare in as titanic a clash as you could wish to see in Croke Park in the Guinness All-Ireland Hurling semi-final. Full credit to both teams. It's a shame there had to be a loser today because just like yesterday, nobody deserves to go home broken-hearted. And Clare are right now, and Davy Fitzgerald is furious. Clare are downhearted. Full-time score here. It's Cork 16 points, Clare 15.